Christina, you recognize these, I assume? Yeah, they're carnations. Yes, and you can buy them at a flower shop. Yeah. They're, they're usually available all year long, grown in greenhouses. Yeah. And you can do some very nice scientific experiments with it, based on the fact that inside these little stems are tubes that the water gets up to the blossom. But you must be careful when you uh, cut off the, the stem that yeah. you do it at an angle underwater with a very sharp tool like a razor blade. So be very yeah. careful. And the reason you do that is you don't want little air bubbles to get caught in the ends of the tubes, then the water can't get up there. And then they'll kill the flowers. Yeah, and then they'll wilt. <laughs> yeah. So after you've done that, then you can add food coloring to the water. And this is what happens sort of it's overnight. Blue. Isn't that the nice? The nation's clear. Yes, they've made a little blue fringe. Yeah. It's pretty. Okay, what's your school color? Blue and green. Well, we got half of it, right? Yeah. The blue. How about these? It's a red flower and a green flower. There's the green and red. But this is mixed up, green and yeah. red. Well, why do you suppose that's green and red? Well, because you cut the stem in half and the yeah. red water goes yeah. in this tube and makes right. this side red. And then the green water goes in here mm -hmm. and makes this side red. Now, you said cut in half. Yeah. Not quite, right? Oh, yeah. There's a little more red than the green, so I didn't cut it quite in half. Little but now, even. now you can combine these two and you'd have your school colors. Yeah. So when you have a party next time, all you need is white carnations, food coloring, and cut it off at an angle with a sharp instrument, and you can make your own school-colored carnations.